I'm at the house at 1455 Dancing Wolf in the Wolf Creek subdivision. We're on a corner lot here. This would be the condition of the home as of August 2nd, 2016, about 5.30 in the afternoon. This subdivision is just off of Loop 1604. You're close to Lackland Air Force Base, Highway 151, Sea Road, and shopping. Let's take a look inside the home. We have a two-car garage here in the front with a garage door opener. Let's pause here so you can get a view of the front here. But nice landscaping in the front. The house itself is a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath. The square footage is roughly 2,260 square feet. Got a nice front porch here. Take a look inside the house. we will do a quick layout of the floor plan downstairs and then we will do the same for the upstairs. So right in the front we have the uh, formal dining room. Around the corner to the left will be the kitchen, eating area, uh, breakfast nook, and straight ahead is the living room. To the right we have the door to the garage, utility room, and the back right will be the masters. So we have nice neutral colors throughout the home. Beautiful laminate floors here in the formal dining room. And we also have nine foot ceilings throughout the uh, first floor. Uh, the only carpet in the first floor is in the master bedroom. Everything else is tile or laminate. So that's the door to the two car garage. It does have a nice epoxy floor. We have a beautiful open kitchen here with recessed lighting. Uh, nice granite countertops. And you can see you can put some stools here. Use this as additional eating surface there. The breakfast bar. We have stainless appliances, including the fridge, flat top stove, built-in microwave, and dishwasher. Nice tile backsplash and beautiful dark cabinets. Right here, I'm going to show here, we have a good size walk-in pantry. We have a dual sink here. Let me just kind of back up so you get a view. So very nice kitchen. And then this is very open, but uh, ideally here you could use this. Let me just back up so I can get this view. So this could be your breakfast nook area. Put a uh, smaller table here for your informal dining or day-to-day -day dining. And then we have a very large living room here. And then you also have the kind of a nook there for the uh, TV or entertainment center. Let's head to the backyard real quick and then we'll continue on to the masters. So we do have a nice fenced yard with uh, lots of trees here and a covered patio. So you want to do some barbecue in here, that'd be great for entertaining. And uh, you can see this, the fence was just recently stained, so it looks very nice. This is gonna be the master bedroom. About 16 feet by about 16 feet, so you have room here for a uh, king size bed across this, against this wall here. You have a nice bay window, ceiling fans. Uh, so you have room for dressers, nightstands, etc. Then we have a very nice master bathroom. We got dual sinks, again the same dark cabinets. And then, uh, What's unique here is we have a walk-in shower. You don't see this very often. Nice tile enclosure there and a sitting area. So very nice spacious shower. Here is your commode with door for privacy. And then we have a good size walk-in closet. You see you got double doors here leading to the walk-in. This is about um, 11 feet across. So lots of room for storage. And then uh, one thing here, we got the washer dryer connection, kind of a pass through from the masters to the kitchen. So if you want to throw your laundry in here real quick, makes it real convenient for you. And then this leads again to the kitchen area. And then we have a good uh, spacious half bath, so you're not cramped in here. Lots of room to move around. All right, so let us head up to the upstairs. Upstairs we're going to find a large game room and three good sized bedrooms and a, another full bath. Got a 
Okay, so my immediate left uh, will be bedroom number two. Straight ahead is the game room. And then to the right is going to be the hall bath, bedroom number three, and bedroom number four. So that's it over here. Now I also want to mention that all of the bedrooms have good size walk-in closets. So in addition to be good size rooms, you also have a good, good amount of storage. So I will show these. Then we have the hall bath here. Nice tile floors, tile shower enclosure, and the matching dark cabinets here. This would be bedroom number three. And nice neutral colors and blinds throughout the house. Show the closet for this bedroom. This is a deeper closet here. You can see we've got some nice built-in shelves. So good amount of storage space. And then better number four. I kind of zoom in here. Hang on a sec. I mean, there we go. We got focus. So we have a good size room here as well. Got some nice uh, lighting here with the extra windows. And then let's show this closet space. Similar to the last one, it's got those built-in shelves on one end, and goes in both directions in the uh, closet space there. All right, and last but not least, we have a large game room. Uh, this is about 15 feet by about 14 feet, so very large size game room. Um, use it as a second living room, your movie room or your uh, video game room. This is a very nice house, four bedrooms, two and a half bath. If you'd like more information about this home or like to schedule a showing, my name is Mark Fee. My cell number is 210-618-9161. Six one, or you can call the office at Liberty Management at two ten six eight one eight zero eight zero. Thank you.